a warm welcome to all so in the last class all we finished our uh, cycadales order hmm, and also some of the fossil members etc so now we are moving on to a special order and that include a special family that is uh, taxales okay so you may be heard about the genus taxus and that is economically very very important genus so taxales include a single family that is taxes a so after a long controversy it is shifted from coniferales into a separate order taxales okay so it contains a single family taxes a and all the members uh, are uh, usually trees and some shrubs are also observed it is usually uh, having some special leaves that are spirally arranged and pycnocylic wood you know that is a typical character of coniferales and also trachytes are abundant in the wood secondary wood is very prominent with the trachytes then very important attraction is the female strobilus is represented by single ovule understood female flowers represented by single ovules they are bear, born on the dwarf shoots and the male having the strobilus nature so this is a very peculiar order having some different characters from the our normal gymnosperms so let us look on to the uh, characters so it is very very important and uh, the very important special character is the presence of aril you know what is an aril it's a part of the fruit okay a special cover or a structure that is known as aril present in the fruit and male strobilus having the peltate sporangiophores you know the structure of the equisetum so just uh, go back to your pteridophyte class equisetum having an axis and spirally arranged uh, i mean the uh, sporangiophores and they are the peltate structure likewise here also peltate sporangiophores present and uh, the during the development you can see a special structure called prothallial cell in the development of male gametophyte in usual case but that is also absent in this uh, tax cells and trachytes are having bordered pits the typical character of coniferales so presence of aril and presence of peltate sporangiophore is a typical feature now taxes are represents five genera including taxus torea pseudotaxus amentotaxus and ostrotaxus of which taxus is the very common one and we are discussing this family by taking the taxus as a material as a type of specimen clear and taxus is representative of the family you know and it is the uh, i already told you it was first included in coniferales and now replaced and the most common species is taxus bucketa taxus valiciana and so many other species are the taxus bucketa is the very common one so see in this picture you can see the uh, trees so it is a, usually growing as an avenue tree it can be cut into different shapes so you know it is known as u tree in uh, that Uh, most of the places it is known like that in the gardens it is placing this is attractive the ovule actually the fruit of this group of taxus and taxus is commonly known as u so it is known as u tree and it's an evergreen tree that's why it is growing as an avenue tree in the botanical gardens and they can usually observe in the temperate countries and there are nine species normally present in north america asia and Uh, and other places and also in india the many himachal and uh, himalaya areas taxus bucketa is a very common one the stem is monopodial continuously growing and dwarf shoots and long shoots present and the dwarf shoots bear the reproductive part okay and branching is also very important you can cut it and make it to different uh, shapes then dwarf shoot usually bear the reproductive parts i already told you the green leaves present in the axis is linear shape leaves okay and it is dorsiventral spirally arranged structure and usually the leaves are persistent means uh, survive for many years and the margin is very smooth and entire single vein and the leaves are usually sessile and highly poisonous that's very very important point leaves are poisonous so while discussing the morphology of the plant you can see this is a medium sized tree and evergreen and the short thick stem 
and stem is covered by reddish brown bark that is peeled off. Okay. So, reddish brown bark also covers. Leaves are linear shaped, spirally arranged and persistent in nature. Lamina is glossy and darker green. So, leaves are very uh, prominent structures that are persistent, that are linear in shape. See, this is the uh, leaf shape, linear leaf shapes you can see here. And very important point, I already told you, they are poisonous. When uh, usually the animals avoid these leaves because they cannot eat it because the tip of the leaf contains silica deposits. Okay, silica deposits present the tip of the leaf. It is a uh, deep feeder, the root, because that branched and uh, appear, uh, absorbs water from far distance. Okay. Anatomy. Looking into the anatomy, you can see an irregular circular outline mainly because of persistent leaf bases. And epidermis is single layered. Okay. And it is parenchymatous. Then cortex usually parenchyma. Cortex having no resin duct. Very important point. No resin duct. Then endoderm is present. That is clearenchymata structure. That is a pericycle present below endodermis. Then vascular bundles that are uh, interrupted rings. Not a continuous ring. Collateral conjoined and dark bundles. Typical dicot bundle. Then narrow middle array fit at the center. See the structure here. This is a sheathing leaf basis. Sheathing leaf basis. That's why it is irregular. And this is the cortical regions. Then xylem regions and pith regions. Okay. Now, xylem is having tracheids and bordered pits, character of coniferals. Phloem is devoid of companion cells and sieve tubes present. Companion cells are absent, usually in the immunosome, usually is not there. Then, uh, secondary growth is by persistent uh, that cambium, presence of cambium. And secondary wood having no wood parenchyma and resin canals. Okay. Then, wood is very dense, elastic, and heavy, usually used to prepare bows. You know the ambum will. See that it is used to prepare bows. Okay. Then root is deep rooted. I already told you. Having anatomically it has the structure. Outermost epiderm is piliferous layer. Then parenchymatous cortex and endoderm is pericycle. Resin cells also present in pericycle and vascular bundle that is diarch and exarch. Two silent groups. And they are exarch condition. No pith is present. So looking into the anatomy of leaf, you can see bifacial leaf. What is bifacial leaf? Upper epidermis and lower epidermis. Clear? In between there is parenchymatous uh, structure. Sunken stomata present in the epidermis. Then palisade is two layered. Just below upper epidermis. Then lower cells you can see spongy. Loosely arranged. Palisade containing chloroplast. Then center is single vascular bundle. That is collateral and a patch of lignified cells present. Then uh, on both sides of the vascular bundle, you can see transfusion tissue. Along it, strands of xylem, transfusion tissue. Then bundle sheath also present. Uh, that is uh, barrel shaped parenchyma cells. So bifacial leaf, upper epidermis, lower epidermis, mesophyll, palisade and spongy. Clear? Then uh, the vascular bundle, collateral and also having transfusion tissue on both sides. Okay? See, this is the uh, structure of the leaf. Bifacial structure, upper epidermis, lower epidermis. And these are the, on both sides you can see transfusion tissue. So that's all about the anatomical features. So in brief, what you studied is the uh, morphological structures and anatomical structures. So Taxus bucketa is a very common species occurring. And while considering the significance, so this plant is very, very important. It's known as yew tree. And the peculiar feature is the presence of a long monopodial stem with a particular branching pattern. And the female reproductive part appear as an ovule, single ovule and male with the peltate sporangiophores. Then um, another peculiar feature, leaf is linear shaped, persistent and with the silica at the uh, apex of the leaves. And also the root is deep rooted. Anatomy, you can see that... Uh, Peculiar feature is the bordered, xylem with the bordered pits. Then upper epidermis, lower epidermis, resin duct absent usually. Then parenchymatous structure, endodermis and pericycle, entire conjoined collateral bundle. In the case of leaf, there are particular uh, that uh, shape and also having the bifacial condition. Upper epidermis, lower epidermis, palisade, uh, mesophyll differentiated into palisade and spongy. 
then chloroplast also present in that then center vascular bundle on both sides extended transfusion tissue okay so that's all about the morphology and anatomy of the taxes uh, belongs to the uh, family taxaceae that only is that is one family of taxales order clear so this is the uh, morphology and anatomy so i am concluding here so in the next class we can discuss the reproduction in taxes